Steve Small Engine Saloon, guys. Today, we're powered by Sneaky Weasel Logger. What is the proper tension to have on a chainsaw chain? I'm going to tell you this right now. <clears throat> if you get five professional chainsaw users in the same room, whether they be fallers, loggers, buckers, uh, tree care guys, spacers, pruners, whatever. You take five of them, you say, hey guys, tension up all your chains to where you think they should be. They do that, you check all five of their chains, you're going to have five different tensions. I'm just saying there is some leeway here. Um, you don't want it too loose, you don't want it too tight. If you have it too loose and your chain is kind of bagging down off the bottom of your bar like this. You're cutting, limbing, um, got it cockeyed a little bit in a piece of firewood, something like that. It's really easy to derail your chain if it's too loose. You derail your chain, you're gonna destroy your chain for one. Worse than that, you derail your chain, it can actually come off and whip around and hit you in the leg, hit you in the hand, something like that. You don't want it too loose. You also don't want it too tight. Now when a chain <clears throat> is on your chainsaw, it's a big long oval, pretty much. When it's spinning around your, your bar at 12,000 RPM, centrifugal force is trying to make that thing into a circle. It's trying to turn it from the, what your shape of your bar is into a circle. It's pushing or pulling on the tip of your bar on the back of your sprocket. The tighter you make that chain, the more pressure it's putting on the tip and the back of the sprocket just from trying to do that with centrifugal force, it's trying to force itself to be a circle. You're going to prematurely wear out the tip of your bar or your sprocket. So you don't want it too loose, you don't want it too tight. I'm going to show you what the manufacturer's um, recommended suggestion is for how to tighten the chain on, what the proper tension is. They're going to show you <clears throat> that you want the bottom of that chain. You look at the bottom of your bar and the bottom of the chain. You want that snugged up just enough so it holds itself up into the bottom of that bar. So to do that, first of all, you have to um, verify where your adjustment screw is. You're either going to have your adjustment screw on the front of your chainsaw, right here. It's going to be in between your bar and your inside dog. Or it's going to be on the outside of your bar cover, right here, right where your um, bar nuts are themselves. Verify where your screw is. Now I want you to turn those nuts off, loosen those nuts off, just enough so you can wiggle that bar up and down. <clears throat> now you know it's loose enough that when you tighten that screw up, it's going to slide the bar out easily to tension that chain up. Now this is the most important thing about doing this. Your bar moves up and down. This one is not bad. It moves up and down about a half an inch. But you can see, even on this one, as I do that, move it up and down, it actually changes the tension of that chain just by moving it up and down. I've seen some chainsaws that move up and down about an inch. Changes the tension on the chain drastically as you move the tip of that bar up and down. As you're cutting wood, it's putting pressure on the bottom of that bar. It's going to try to move your bar up, and it will. No matter how tight you got those nuts on there, you're going to start cutting. It's going to push the, your bar up to the top position, and it's going to change your tension on your chain, unless you hold that tip up 
when you do it in the first place. When you do your tension on your chain, hold that tip up to do it. Especially when you tighten those nuts back on again, continue to hold that tip up into the, into the position where it's going to end up anyways when you're cutting wood. Then you know it's not going to change the tension on the chain as you're cutting wood because it's already up to the top where it should be. Okay, so this is how we actually do this then. We hold the tip of that bar up. We start adjusting that attentioning screw in and turn it in and in and in until that chain is just holding itself up into the bottom of that bar. Continue holding the tip of that bar up and then tighten those nuts back on tightly. And that's it. Hope I helped you guys out a bit. Uh, subscribe button down here in the bottom right hand corner again. I hope you liked it. Give me the thumbs up. Give me a give me a like if you liked it. Till the next uh, video. Steve out.